In this video, we are going to study the structure of our Angular application. With this knowledge, we will be able to understand how Angular bootstraps an application. So what we are going to do is that we are going to expand this, and as we know, every web page starts with an HTML file. So let's go here to src, and here we have the index.html, and as you can see, this is a normal HTML file where we have an HTML tag, a head tag, and a body. And as you can see, inside of the body, I have this app root. This app root represents our app component, which is the component in which we work in the previous section. Now, there is one natural question, and that is, how does our application know that when we have app root here, then it must display that app component. And where is Angular in all of this? There is no a single file pointing to some sort of Angular library. Well, the answer to that question lies in a file that is called AngularJSON. So let's go over there, AngularJSON, and as you can see, in this Angular version, we are configuring a build process. If you remember from the previous section, I said that in order to run an Angular application, we must first compile it. Well, in that compiling process, is that our web application is configured in order to use Angular. So as you can see, we have this build Angular tool here, and we have here our index as an option of our build process and the index is our index.html and we have a main which is an entry point file which is this main ts which is the initial configuration of our application and if we go to that file to that main ts file we are going to see this simple configuration which says that if we are in production then we are going to enable something that is called production mode but the most important thing is that here, as you can see, we are bootstrapping a module. If you remember, we said that a module is the central piece of Angular applications. In a module, we can declare components that we want to use. We can also import other modules and so on. So here we are bootstrapping a module. Which module? This app module that we have here. When we talk about bootstrapping, we mean that we are configuring something in order to be started. In this case, we are bootstrapping the app module. Where is that app module then? That app module is here in the app folder. It is here, app module. And as you can see, as we said, we have here this class name add module. And a module is a class which is decorated with the engine module decorator. And here, as we can see, we have a declaration in which we are declaring the app component. And not only that, but we are also importing some other modules, like this browser module, which is the one that has the basic core functionality for Angular, and this app routing module, which is the one in which we define the routing rules of our applications. We are going to talk about routing rules in the next section, but for now we can leave this as it is, and here, as you can see, we are also doing some bootstrapping here, since we are bootstrapping the app component. So, since we are bootstrapping the app component, he is ready from the get-go to be used. And if we go to the app component, which is this set of files that we have here, this CSS file, this HTML file, this spec file, and this TS file, we are going to talk more about these four files in the next video for now i want you to go to the app component ts which is the class of our component this is where we put the logic of our component like variables and we can also put functions here but i want you to see this selector here which represents something like the id or identifier of our component this is how we can instantiate our component from HTML, by using it as a tag. So that is why when we put app root here, when we put app root here, we are displaying the app component because of the build process defined in the AngularJSON, 
which has an entry point file, which is the main TS file, which bootstraps the app module, and the app module bootstraps the app component, and the app component defines this app root selector. And that is basically an overview of how Angular works. Now, in the rest of this course, we are going to learn the details of Angular. And of course, we're going to start by studying this app component that we have here.